Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my October TBR. Happy October people. I have, still have my bats on. I'm going to be recording a couple videos today and hopefully I actually edit and upload them because I can record all I want. But if I don't edit and upload it, it's purposeless. But this month for my spooktacular spooktober TBR, there you go, finally got it. I have a lot of books on my TBR in this month. Am I going to read them all? Of course not. I've already accepted that I'm not going to read them all this month. But for sure I'm going to read the first book that I'm going to talk about. But let me just tell you what I'm currently reading actually. So, since I guess that's part of my TBR. Um, I am currently reading Ready to Fall In. I've actually, um, I think I'm 30, 30 something percent or 40 something percent done. 40 something I want to say. But I finally started reading this again in the last recent days. I started reading it a couple months ago. And then I got sidetracked listening to audiobooks and reading other stuff. And I kind of like put it down and started reading other stuff. And it had nothing to do with the book itself. I just caught myself doing two things at one time. And I kind of forgot about this one. But I've been reading this one by itself um, lately. And I'm really loving it. Things got really interesting yesterday while I was reading it. And I was like dance you know like i'm enjoying it so far can't say it's gonna be five stars but it's definitely above three it may be a four star read by the end i'm not sure maybe i'm too maybe not far enough to make that decision just yet but it's it's a pretty good read um like i said there probably won't be written in this order but the first book that i have on my list is bird box by josh mallerman and I'm going to listen to this on audiobook on Hoopla, but this one is definitely going to get ready when I'm done with Running the Fall and I'm going to start listening to this book. It's like a nine hour audiobook, but when I listen to audiobooks, I listen to them at like a 1.5 speed. I may put it up to a 1.75 speed. It, it depends on what it sounds like to me because sometimes it sounds mushy when it gets up to that. So, But a lot of times my normal is like a 1.5. I've heard about this book a lot. And this has been sweeping across booktube. Like it was, when it first came out, that's all you heard about. But still, there's still a couple of people that are reading that this month as well for October. And I'm super excited. It's like this post-apocalyptic world where there's these monsters that if you see them, they'll kill you. Or like you go crazy or something. You go crazy and like kill yourself or something like that. So it's in a world where people walk around blindfolded and you rely um, on your hearing. And the woman in this book, she has two younger kids with her. Uh, I think they're twins. I think they're four or something like that. Four or six or something. It's something around the area. And she hears that there's like a refugee camp or something, you know, that they can go to. So they're set out on that blindfolded on a boat. They can't see anything. They're relying solely upon their hearing and something's following them. And they don't know if it's a person or if it's a, a, one of the monsters. So. Sorry, <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> wow. Um, again, like I was saying, I'm so sorry. I need my Thunder buddy and she's not here. But like I was saying, they don't know if it's a person or a monster. And they're just trying to get to safety. She's trying to get the kids and herself to safety um, without getting hurt. And they don't know if what it is following them. They messed up my train of thought. Oh my God. <laughs> How old am I? The next book that's on my list is Blinding Light by Chantel Godori, who is also the author of Alalira, who I I reviewed one of her, I reviewed that book and she also sent me Between of Sea Between Between the Seas and Stars. And I haven't read it yet though. Um, it's that's supposed to be a little mermaid retelling. I am gonna read it though. Like I'm being terrible with like my my books that I'm getting for free to review. Like I'm terrible with them lately. But I'm going to read that one very soon. Hopefully, I might read it this month because I've been thinking about it. I've been seeing a lot of people reading Little Mermaid retellings, and it's just been on my mind. So I may read it this month or next month. We'll see. But Alalira is out, and it was amazing. It's a grim fairy tale retelling. Y'all should go pick it up and test her author skills out because they're amazing but blinding light is supposed to be a um a greek mythology retelling between hades and persephone and i think it sounds fucking amazing i think it comes out this month if it's not out already it may have it's may out already it might have came out october 1st i don't know 
I don't know. And I have it right in front of me, but I don't know what day it came out. Or it comes out this month, whatever. But I'm gonna buy it because it sounds awesome. So I don't know if I'm gonna read it this month, but I'm gonna buy it this month. Don't know if I'm gonna read it. Then for the thousandth time, my next book on my list is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book has been on my freaking list for many a times, months, years. Since this came out, I got it when it first came out, and this has been on my TBR since I got it. I put it on my TBR just about every October. I put it on my TBR a couple times a year, and I never get to it. Hopefully, I get to it this year. This is one of the ones that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get to, you know? Like, this is one of the ones that, that my hopes are high for, too. Then the next book that is on my TBR this month is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Andy Emmy. And, oh my God. Like, I, the hype around this book is crazy this is a new release for this year it came out a couple months ago it came out early in the year i should have been ready and i never did i'm behind on reading my books my new release books that i have um rain of the fallen is one of them and i'm just reading i think that came out in january guys and i'm just reading that a uh, favorite one of those and i'm just reading that at the end of the year but um this is another book that i'm pretty sure i'm going to get to the fan art for this is amazing and i'm like god i need to read the book because i'm not understanding the fan like it's beautiful but the fan art that has text i, I don't know what's going on but I, i'm gonna read this this month this is another one that, that i'm almost 90 percent sure i'm going to get to this month if nothing else so i cannot wait for this and if you haven't heard of this you're under a freaking rock because this has been everywhere everywhere twitter and bookstagram sorry youtube it's been everywhere on the news like everywhere people if you have not heard of this i don't know what to tell you i don't know then the next book that's on my list is words that kill by vivid vega and i think this is a collection of poetry this is one of the ones i'm not sure if i'm going to read though because i don't think it's on hoopla and i would have to buy it so i guess it depends on how it goes this month and what i'm reading but not a hundred percent don't even remember what it's about but it was good enough for me to put it on my list so we'll see then the next book that's on my list the next two books actually are graphic novels the first one is plastic by doug wagner i have heard this this is on hoopla i have heard of this it's this like weird um graphic novel following this this man that used to be a serial killer trying to catch a serial killer but his with his girlfriend and his girlfriend is a sex doll so it's gonna be weird and, but i'm excited to read this and this is something i know i'm gonna read this month because i'm excited to read it and i just wanted to give myself a reason to read it so people don't be like what was your purpose for picking it up not to say well you know it's halloween you know <laughs> so it's not too weird then the next one that i have on my list that's the graphic novel is american vampire volume 2 by scott snyder it sounded like i was singing that when i said that but <laughs> I love the first volume. I don't know if Stephen King took part in this volume, but I know the first volume, it was like two comics clashing together, and it's like Scott Snyder wrote the one from the future, like, and like, well, the current times of that book, Scott Snyder wrote that one, and then it would drift off to the past, and that's the one that Stephen King wrote, but they all meshed together, like, they all went together. So, I don't know if he took part in this one, too. I didn't see his name on there, but... I love the first volume and this one I just know it's got to be great too because the first volume was the shit. Also if y'all are looking for a recommendation for Halloween which I think I'm going to do a video for that. Witches by Scott Snyder is an amazing graphic novel I recommend it all the time every year if you want something scary. Well it's spooky it's, it's more para make you paranoid but it's amazing the graphics were great the content was great it screams Halloween it's perfect. So even if you're a scary cat I think that'll be really good it's not like scare your draws off scary okay but it's definitely halloween then the next book that's on my list is her body and other parties by carmen maria machando i hope i say it right i'm not sure but i've heard this i think this is a collection of short stories like uh of short stories and i've heard of this though i've it's been across booktube i can't tell you 100 what it's about but i've heard of it and i know it's kind of halloweeny it's a little spooky i don't want to say spooky as in like ghost but I know it deals with, I think it, doesn't it have like something to do with, I want to say it has something to do with rape in it, but um, like murder and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know people, like, but I know what it's about in my mind. I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't say it like out loud. I hate when that happens. I don't know if it's like a, one of those things that I'm like sure I'm going to read or not. 
I think it's on Hoopla, but if it's on Hoopla, that's one of the things I think I'm sure I'm going to read. Basically, if it's free and I can get my hands on it, I'm almost 100% certain I'm going to read it. If it's not, it's a maybe. Depends on how the month goes. The next thing I have on my list is The Dark Dark Story by Samantha Hunt. And I also think this is a collection of short stories, but this is like really, I think this is more like grossly horrifically. <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's like more grossly horrifying. Halloween kind of read. But it is a collection of short stories though. And I think it's like creepy too uh, when I read about it. The next thing on my list was I'm not, I'm really not sure if I'm going to read. Because I had to buy it and I think it's like $10 or $11. But I'm not sure if I'm going to read it. But it's called Beanstalk is another hilarious scary tales. And this is on my list. Oh, by um, Kirsten White. Y'all know her. She's what the hell did she write? Did she write the selection series? I think she wrote the selection series. I think that's her. But um, I wanted this on my list because I thought it would be creepy. But it's kind of cutesy too. So it would be creepy but funny at the same time. It will kind of be like reading the goosebumps. You know it's not something scary. So I want to build up my Halloween recommendations to give you guys recommendations. on Because some people aren't really into like scary scary. Some people are scaredy cats and I get it. And you just want that like toned down Halloween kind of stuff. And I just feel like this is a good to be a good mixture of scary but funny. You know, like you're gonna find yourself laughing at it and you're gonna ask yourself why the hell am I laughing at that? I think it's gonna be one of those. Then on my list is Little Monsters by Kara Thomas, and I think this is on my Kindle actually. Now I can't remember what this is about either. But it's Halloween. -y. That's gonna be my excuse for everything that I can't tell you what it's about. But I pretty sure it's on my Kindle. This is, and it's on my Kindle. That's probably it'll probably be a most light read for this month. Then the next book I have is See What I Have Done by Sarah Schmidt. And this has I seen this on BookTube a little while ago. It's not crazy on BookTube, but I have seen it, so I know it's out there. And I think this is like one of those creepy kind of books too. It's gonna get a creepy feel. I think it's gonna be scary but creepy. Then the next book I have is Good As Gone by Amy Gentry. And I think this is the, and I know this is on my on my Kindle. But I think this is about a girl that goes missing and they're trying to find her. Or they already know she's dead and they're trying to figure out stuff. It's something like that. Somebody goes missing. I know it's like a murder mystery. Then the next book that I have on my list is something, the second to last book, by the way, is something that has been sweeping through BookTube. And everybody knows it. And I'm kind of afraid, I'm kind of afraid to read it because of all the hype. And that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. And this book is on Hoopla. So like I said, Hoopla is the shit. They get newer books. So don't think that it's all old books on there because it's free and it's not. They get updated books. But this has been all over BookTube and I hear a lot about it. And it's really hyped up. And I'm just, I, I want to read it. It's something I'm interested in. But I'm scared that the hype is going to kill it. I'm scared I'm gonna, it's going to make me have higher expectations because of all of the hype. And it is not going to meet those expectations. And I'm going to be like, why the fuck did they hype this up like this? And it's not, I don't know. I'm just scared of books that I hyped up like it's something I'm interested in but it's just the hype makes me worry and then the last book on my list which I'm probably gonna read because I know it's kind of like a short read and it's something that I have on my Kindle already and that's Status by Jordan Belcher and I'm I think this is like dealing with a stalker um, I'm pretty sure it's like an adult book I think she's dealing with a stalker that's trying to to kill her or something or trying to something like that guys oh my god I'm terrible at this I'm pretty sure it's around that area and I'm interested in books about stalkers I didn't like you and I thought I was gonna like it especially since it was from the stalker's perspective but it was just a lot of repetition I know that's a book that people love on book two but it just seemed like it was too much repetition for me it's like I knew what he was gonna say before he said it because he went through the same cycle over and over and over again I understand that that's probably what goes on for real but I I think actually putting in the book that many times kind of killed it because it's like now I know what he's gonna do he's gonna throw a tantrum and he's gonna go do this and I didn't finish it because of that I just don't care for repetition like that but guys, that is all the book on my October TBR. Like I said, it's an ambitious TBR for me to have. I don't know. I'm probably not going to read all of that. If I do, I'm going to give myself a freaking pat on the back. But it is time for me to show you another piece of my Halloween costume and see if you guys can put it together. Now, I don't know. I'm going to save the big thing for last because I know once you see this, you're go if you don't already know, you're going to know who I'm going to be for Halloween. So, but I'm kind of torn on this part though. I don't know which one I want to show you. I think I'm going to show you my bottoms. Because I know there's no way you're going to get from that. So my bottoms that I'm wearing for Halloween, I just got me some green cargo shorts that I'm going to wear. Just 
plain green, you know. Remember the last, remember the piece of my costume from last video was my orange wig. And now we have green cargo pants. I'm not disclosing if it's scary or if it's not. Um, I'm not disclosing if it's real or a cartoon. I'm not disclosing any age ranges. Just showing you the item. So if you can guess based off of green cargo shorts and an orange wig. Okay, there's two more parts to this costume, people. But I would love to see your guesses down below and we will see where they go. I, I, I want to know. I hope y'all are commenting though. Like, cause, but I haven't been getting comments, right? So hopefully, I get some because this seems like a fun game to play. Now, Kalea Halloween, it makes no sense for me to do pieces because you're going to see one thing, you're going to know what it is. Kalea is going to be Cookie Monster for Halloween. No, this is not a family costume. So don't think that it is. It's not like a matching costume set, okay? But she's gonna be Cookie Monster and she's gonna be so adorable. Like I can't wait to see y'all see uh, pictures and her costume is gonna be so cute. But let's see if y'all can guess what I'm doing. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for staying along and watching. Um, I wanna know what you guys are planning on reading this month if you're into horror or if you're not. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Shit, I know I'm the shit. Yeah, I'm super